Hello everyone, Shindo Bean here playing some more Warhammer combat cards. I am continuing this week's campaign, Space Marines vs. Tyranids. And this is the campaign where they just released the new Tyranid Warlord, the Turvigon, as well as two other Tyranid bodyguards that are not available for us players to use yet. I'm currently at position 86. If we look at the leaderboard here, uh, I am 86 out of over 16,000 players, so that's pretty decent. Been using all the campaign energy as I get it. Still two and a half days left in the campaign. This is the deck I'm running. It started out with more Blood Angels, but I swapped them out in favor of some Ultramarines, including the Centurion, and a regular old Tactical Marine there. So let's go ahead and deploy. I've reached a point in the campaign where I'm starting to lose games. The AI is fielding some really monstrous cards worth a lot more points than my deck. So we are up against a Turvagon here. And I'm curious to see what level this is going to be. I barely have the initiative, so I get to go first. I'm going to see... Ah. I, it's If you're playing Tolmeron, you want to have your Invictor out at the beginning. You definitely want it out uh, to be the first card you play, which I was not able to do here. So this is not really ideal. You can see they deploy the Hive Crone here, which has a lot of uh, ranged attack. And Old One-Eye, wow, on the starting line. Let's take a look at the Turvagon, it is level 6. Okay, this is what I wanted to see here. High level Turvagon, which means those Termagants that it spawns are also going to be level 6. At level 1 they're quite weak, but at a higher level, I think as we will see, the Termagants get a precision shot. So they basically deal damage on deployment every time they deploy, and since there's an infinite number of them, that's actually quite good. Very good for breaking shields, and in some cases, sniping low health units. So, we are going to continue ranged here, I believe. There's the Termagant there, you can see. It's precision shot, did 6 damage. It's 22 ranged, which is pretty decent. And uh, I saw someone post that the Termagant actually at level 7 gets a psychic attack, which seems kind of odd to me. But I think that's a good thing, maybe? I mean, it gives you an option to do a little more damage, I guess. Alright, what do we want to do here? I think I'm going to deploy my Dreadnought right there in the center. Against Old One Eye. The taunt activates and they just deployed a Hive Tyrant. This is one of the new cards. It's a legendary. Uh, we can zoom on zoom in on it here. Level two legendary. Very expensive card. Has a lot of health, but uh, kind of weak attack. And the trait is poison. And I am going to go ranged. Gonna blast that hive crone out of the sky. I still have five cards remaining in the deck, including the Termagants. The games do take longer with uh, the Turvagon since it's just able to stall and lock down a lane with the with the Termagant. Of course, that ability will... I'm, I'm really looking forward to playing against the Turvagon as either Eldar or Orcs, because they will just reap the rewards every time they kill the Termagant. I wonder if the AI will be smart enough to avoid <laughs> deploying those Termagants early on against Orcs and Eldar. But as uh, someone was saying in the, the forum, the Turvagon will be... <clears throat> quite good against Tau, I think. Just being able to lock down a lane against uh, powerful uh, ranged 
units. Uh, it will also be good against servants of the Empire, in particular Canoness, because those extra melee attacks will be wasted on the Termagant, which can just keep respawning. And we see a Carnifex deploying on the left here. It's level 4. Pretty beastly card. I want to keep my Invictor alive. Not sure if it's going to be able to make it. The Centurion took out the Lictor on the right. But my Dreadnought's taking some damage too. Now, the Turfagon itself is not... Um, exceedingly strong in terms of its attack power, but at level 6 it does have it does deal quite a bit of damage. And the Moloch there on the right just deployed. Level 4, this is the strongest melee card that the Tyranids have, and hmm, now this is a little tricky, because I um, what do I want to do here? I'll just deploy the Assault Marine, Assault Terminator, sorry, against the Moloch. The shield will be able to absorb that damage. And these Termagants are whittling down my Dreadnought here, which is not very cool. Yeah, this is not going so well because I cannot kill that Carnifex. Poison is slowly draining the life from my Invictor. I'm just going to ready here, which I do not normally do. You don't want to waste time readying against um, the other Tyranid Warlords, Gosar and uh, Hive Tyrant, because they just get stronger and stronger with each turn, basically. Um, now, readying there was probably not the correct choice, because I just lost my Invictor. And, well... I do have to kill this Carnifex, though. I don't want to waste my melee here, but I don't think I have a choice. So my Dreadnought's going to take out the Carnifex. The Moloch will use its attack and break the shield on the Assault Terminator, but that will bring out the Turvagon. Unfortunately for me, my Dreadnought is now being blocked by the Termagant. And that's a big psychic attack there. Let's look at the, the Turvagon stats here. So yeah, as you can see, it has all three attack types, and they're pretty decent at level 6. And has a ton of health. So, I think I just lost, because there's no way for my Dreadnought to be able to hit the Turvagon. Um, unless I'm able to kill the Moloch, but that's just not happening. So, yeah, if you want to know how to play with the Turbogon, I, I guess this AI did it right, for sure. I think I, I made a mistake allowing my Invictor to die there. If it had survived, then I might have been able to position it into the center to deal a lot of damage to the warlord but yeah unfortunately yeah this turbogon is really playing smart Tolmeron is nowhere near strong enough to be able to <laughs> win a fist fight against that uh, beast and the turbogon likes to go psychic I've noticed here I have no psychic units of myself uh, for myself, so yeah, I'm gonna lose this one. I think I've seen this is the first time I've seen a powerful card of mine like the Dreadnought be completely shut down by the Termagants. So. I think that might be one of the first times I've actually lost against the Turvagon. So that's what uh, one of the... <laughs> a game in the late stage of the campaign looks like. 
Uh, I'm curious, how far have you gotten in the campaign? This is a pretty long match. Um, only to end in defeat, so that's unfortunate. But uh, let me know what you think about this campaign. And thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.